Okay, so I want to actually fix this search button to when I do a search, that is when there's a queue parameter in the URL, uh, much like this right here, I want to actually be able to show that text in this search bar. Um, so to do this, that means I have to pass the data to my search component. That is the standard search component, not the search detail. Search detail is really just for showing the details for that search component. So to do this, we are going to use something called input. So input allow is a decorator that allows you to pass data for your component. We'll see what that means in just a second. So this, what we'll do here is we'll add input as a decorator around query, which query is going to be used inside um, our actual you know, search, right? So we have query down here, but this is a different one. So notice it's let, it's not related to this. So that's where this can still work and it's not gonna conflict with that. Now I could also change this to searched query. So I'm not getting anything um, confused here where this one is going to set the data inside of the search component, which is this actual search query, right? So this actual search query, I'm going to bring it back into my component and I'm going to bring this one in too. So I'll say search query and I'll give it a string. Um, so these two are different. These are models that are related to the form, right? So that's this and this. And then finally, this is the default query or the past query. So we'll just say past query. That's what we'll call it. So this is actually the input that we can have for our actual item. Now let's see what I mean by that. I'll just do console log this dot past query. And to use that, I'll go in my search detail and go into that search um, component and we'll say past query equals to hello. We save that and let's look in our console. We've got hello. So that is how it works. Now, if I pass in the actual query, which is this right here, using these brackets, it will give me the search. It gives me the actual search item there, All right? So if you don't have those brackets, if I get rid of those brackets, it's just gonna treat it as a string. Once you bring those brackets in, it treats it as whatever that variable value is. In our case, it's what we set right here. Of course, it is the query, but um, we only wanted to pre-fill the search button or search bar inside of the actual search detail, or at least show you how it's done. You might not actually do this really, but I want to show you how it's done so you know that you can use it in other instances. Okay, so we have this search query now. So going back into that component, I've got this past query. So I'll just say if this dot past query, then I'll say this dot search query is equal to this dot past query. So search query, of course, is the model. So I'm setting it equal to what's being passed. Um, it's not going to be really that interesting. So I refresh in here. Notice it says new search, another search. Um, so this is also another thing that's important here is this is not changing. So it's not updating. It's not bound to that query or it's not bound to the search query here, right? Or this is this is the same component. So we're in the search component here, but that, that other query is not bound to this query, right? So the past query, this right here and this right here is not bound to this, right? They're not related. That's why it's not changing this itself. Um, so in other words, if I wanted the, the to show you this, this query or the search query, the two-way data binding there, let's just change this to search query. We save that and now it's actually doing it, right? So it's now it's actually bound to it. Where up here, it's not. It's not bound to it at all. Right, so if I start type, or, or it is bound to it, but it doesn't have any sort of default value, right? So if I refresh in here, 
It, it already has a default value because it's bound to it. It's bound to that actual model like we've already seen. All right, so I get rid of that. And now it's back to being a little bit more robust of a search. So I do new search, exclamation mark, hit enter. It has that new search there. Of course, this is still pre-filled for us. Very, very good. That is exactly what we wanted to see. And how it's working is by just passing in this input here. So now you might be wondering, well, how do I do this inside of the app component, right? So where this is actually exists. So again, it's going to be passed query equals to something. Let's just put something there for now. And I refresh, obviously the top bar is saying something, but the bottom one, this one's not because we override it. We override it with an actual search. So if I got rid of that search and just went to search, the, the override is still not there. Um, why is that? Because I'm still, I actually am still overriding it right here. This is still overriding it as its default. And in fact, there are two different instances of it. So it's not like this one is dependent on this one and vice versa. Um, so what I wanna do is, is update this to being based off of if there is a queue parameter whatsoever inside of the route. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab all of this stuff and see if I can if I can actually make that happen. So inside of my app component, I'm gonna get this route sub. So there's gonna be a few more things that I'm gonna to have to add from the search detail, and that's on ng init. So component, I'm gonna add on ng init. We'll do implements. And we want to bring in on ng, or excuse me, on init. So implements on init, we'll get rid of this. Okay, so this is getting that parameter. So this.query is that. So since we've got this, let's go ahead and look at that component. And again, we are gonna put the brackets around it because I want the variable value. And I'll put query here, we save that and it's failing. Route sub does not exist. Oh yeah, of course it doesn't exist because we didn't add everything here. So we'll say in this, we'll do route sub uh, or private route sub as any. Okay, and we also need to get route. So that means going back into our search component, I'm gonna grab this and I'm also gonna add in the constructor here. So we'll do constructor And this is private and let's do that import and call it route, private route, activated route. There we go. So we save that, refresh. Uh, property query does not exist on the component. Uh, that's because of this right here. So again, query and we'll put it as a string. We save that. All the errors go away, still at something. Right, so it shouldn't be at something anymore. So there it goes away. So I'll do new search. And what do you know? It's there, right? It's not showing up here um, because if we go back into our search detail component, the past query is, should be showing up. And let's try that again. Do a refresh here and I'll do new search. We hit enter. It looks like it's not duplicating the value in here. New search. That time it did. So let's do a search in here. I'll just do new search. Hit enter. Um, yeah, it's not exactly passing the data all that well because they are different instances. But realistically, the search, what I would do is I'd probably just keep it in the search bar and not have two search bars. Doesn't make sense to do that. Um, what, I mean, I just want to show you all of this stuff so you could see it. So in this component, I don't need the, like, I mean, everything else here is not really any different, right? I have the query, I have the route, all those things are exactly how I want them to be. Um, the search component itself, again, also how I want it to be. The one thing I want to do is on this app component is I want to add on destroy. So on destroy, and then ng on destroy. 
And again, this dot route sub and unsubscribe. Save that. Okay, so now we're having our new search here. I'm gonna try that again. So let's go ahead and just do a search. I'll do new search, hit enter. And there's our search there. If I refresh on here, this does go away, but it is still having the search when I actually run it. So if I go on any other page and do new search, hit enter, it's still keeping me at that search, right? So it is keeping that value in there as we want it to happen. Um, it's just the past query is not staying um, and it's probably has to do with how the router is working itself. So if I refresh in here, we have that queue coming through. So this dot query should actually be updating our component. So let's refresh in there and it's not. So let's get rid of past query as that. And we'll just set it in as query. Save that. And we'll do a refresh in here. I'll do new search, enter. It's keeping it in. It's keeping it in. But if I refresh in here, it's actually pulling it off. It might be one of the component, uh, like how this actually works. So let's let's bring it out of ng init and bring it into the constructor. And inside of the constructor, we don't have to use this dot route. We can just use route. Bring it in here. Still not actually showing that default value based on what's up here. It is logging it, but it's not loading it. And it's probably has to do with generally how um, the two-way data binding is working on the actual app component itself. But again, I'll just leave it back on this component here. Just like that. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but we're gonna leave it out because really the main thing is um, this search function, actually having the ability to do a search and still keep it up here so another search actually works. So the next one, we will actually show some results. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.